Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Petwa's kitchen. Awara metekwarwa. The beauty, the pride of our culture. For our presentation today in Petwa's kitchen, I have already made the door over here. Uh, we will be making Ugandan chapatis. Yes, Ugandan chapatis. And what did we mix in the door? We did um, uh, mix warm water in, um, you know, uh, with sea salt, which is the kado. We call it kado. And uh, I did use up the flour. I tried this for today's presentation. I normally use the plain flour, but um, this is the self-raised one. And then I also, you know, put in a little bit of the olive oil, which is our modern we call it more there. Plus, we did add in, you know, tonguero, which is eggs. I put in just uh, one egg and then also added in a tub of butter just to make everything smooth and soft. So this is the dough that I have come up with. I'm going to leave this just to sit for a little um, bit to uh, raise. And then I will be rolling it down. Um, I normally like a you know, smooth surface. So that's the surface that I will be using. And I will be using, of course, my rolling stick to make some circles and fry it up in the pan so keep watching keep watching and this is in promotion of awara me tequaro wa so these are the bowls that i have just uh, prepared out of my dough and i will be rolling this down you know using my rolling stick just over there so what you do is you just sprinkle a little bit of the flour just to make it um, just roll uh, smoothly and then just continue with uh, the rolling to give us the round um, shape of the chapati. So this is it, yes. So this is it after rolling it down um, and I will be continuing to roll the rest as well. So remember a little bit of oil just on your palm and then just roll it down with the oil and then just transfer the one that I have rolled just over there on top. So I now have one, two, three, four, five. So I just keep building it up before I do my cooking. This is our end result. So we do have uh, a number of the, you know, chapati dough that's, you know, been lined up and I will be taking one at a time. Uh, you know, very easy to, uh, to take. As you can see, it's just not sticking because of the oil that I did, um, you know, put on top of the, um, the, the the dolls, yeah. So what I do is whenever I put in my chapati, I just get a little bit of oil and just uh, run it just around my pan, just around the chapati, and uh, keep turning it. And as soon as you see the bubbles begin to build up, then I know that the other side is already, you know, cooking. So I'm going to be turning this very soon. Um, yeah, so just turning it. That's it. And then just keep cooking. And remember, we did have uh, oil already smeared on the, you know, the rolled up dough, so we don't need a lot of oil on these chapatis. And just uh, keep um, pressing it down. You know, just keep pressing it down to make sure that it cooks evenly. Yeah. Uh, so we're nearly done. So I'm just going to turn this one more time um, just to make sure that it cooks uh, properly or evenly. Um, I think we still have a few minutes for it to just go golden brown and then, yeah, I love this. And uh, watch out for our next uh, cooking or meal. That is the Ugandan meal, one of my favorite actually meal that is from the Luo culture. Yeah, um, especially in cooked in the Gulu city area where I come from. So keep watching, keep watching. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for all those who've been supporting me and also sending in uh, what you want me to cook. I will be trying this all out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we are about to take this one off. Um, it's just really good. Thank you. 
see a bubbles building again so that's just showing that the bottom part is cooking as well i just keep pressing it down just to make sure that it cooks even i just keep checking as well is it adding it over? Yeah. so try this try this these are uh, ugandan champati um, we did use our self-raising flour. Normally I use the plain flour, which uh, will usually not bring the bubbles really. I put in one egg, um, just a warm water mixed in sea salt, which is kado. Um, the egg is the uh, tongwell, just one. And then I also used, of course, um, a tub of butter, uh, just to bring that soft um, softness, yes and then just um, kneaded my dough until I rolled it down with the rolling stick on a flat surface and then started frying each one at a time. So this is it. We're nearly done. <laughs> yeah, it needs a lot of patience as well but uh, very interesting and um, yeah, lovely. I love it, I love doing this. And we will be preparing other African, um, you know, dish, a uh, special dish that I will be preparing. So keep watching, keep watching in Petwa's Kitchen um, in promotion of Awara Me Tequaro Wa. So this is our end result. Uh, we did prepare our Ugandan um, chapati, quite bouncy, quite soft. Yes, I love that. It didn't take me long to prepare. I did uh, mix up my, um, you know, a little bit of uh, warm water um, in sea salt, which is the kado. And uh, I also um, put in the self-raising flour. Um, I normally use plain flour, but for this presentation, I just wanted to try out the self-raising flour. Uh, put in also our egg, just one egg, which is the tong bueno, uh, mixed it in there, and a tub of butter, just to give us that soft, um, you know, uh, look. And then just kneaded that all down. Put in a little bit of our olive oil, which is more potato and then uh, rolled it up in little circles, rolled it down on a flat surface just to give me that roundness and then fried each one of these chapatis um, under low heat. And uh, yes, so keep watching Petra's Kitchen, more African foods that I will be preparing, especially those ones coming from um, the Luo area that is uh, Luo region, Gulu city, area where I come from in Uganda. So keep watching. Thank you for everyone who have been supporting me um, through this cooking. And thank you, thank you, thank you. This is all in promotion of Awara Me Tekwarawa, meaning the beauty or the pride of our culture. Karibu, karibu. Wow. 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 Wow.